Fidelity, Part 2. Dad, good evening. What are you doing? And what are you doing? <laughs> I can only imagine what you're up to. Well, Dad, this is about the wedding. I was wondering if you'd like to meet my fiancé. Your fiancé? Can your fiancé hunt? No. He makes fish soup? I don't know. Is he fond of old hard rock? Does that really matter? Mila, what shall I talk about with him then? I don't understand. Don't you care who your daughter is marrying? You know, I've seen a lot from you already. Live with whomever you want. Oh, thank you. Is that it? Okay, bye. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Wait, is he allergic to anything? Mom, how should I know? And what does he like to drink? Mom. Vodka, and we'll be ready in a half an hour. You don't even know the basic rules of entertaining. Mom, drop it. Introduce myself. Zekar. Ah. Nice to meet you. Zekar. Hello, Ekaterina. Nice to meet you. Asya, is your fiancé's name really Zekar? <laughs> yes, Dad. I guess it's him. I didn't recognize you. What are we standing here for? Dinner is served? Which seats are yours? Where should I sit? Where oh, no like? problem. Indeed. Please, take a seat. Yes, sit down. Yes. <clears throat> I suggest a toast to the young couple. That's great. Frankly speaking, I'm really glad someone dared to marry this boisterous little girl. She's your problem now. Dad. <laughs> what dad? <laughs> uh. Oh, I remember. She was about five years old. I left her in the yard playing with the kids. Everybody went home. But she didn't. We searched the whole lot. We searched everywhere and didn't find her. Mom was hysterical already, thinking something had happened. Somebody has kidnapped her. Yet I knew right away where she was. I knew she had gone down to the valley. She had been fond of the valley since her childhood, since she was a little girl. That's where your house is. She stuck to it like bees to a honeypot. Well, we run to the valley. And what do you think? <laughs> this little thing is sitting on the bank under the oak tree in her Dad, underpants. Enough. Stop with the budding in here, and you'll never guess. Washing her dress. I ask her what's going on, and she says... I soiled my dress. Mom will be angry. I decided to stop and wash it, and then I'll go home. Can you imagine? She was only five years old. I didn't sleep at all that day. It was dreadful to think about it. The valley could be so dangerous. Yes. You know, my daughter still doesn't know how to wash her own things. If she ever finds herself in the supermarket, <laughs> she wouldn't be able to find detergent. <laughs> Oh, you have a daughter. How old is she? About 20, I guess. You guess? Oh, does she live with her mother? No, on her own, in the city. Maybe not alone. Oh. I guess she's going to get married. Interesting. 
And do you stay in touch with her? Mom. <clears throat> what? We're just talking. Okay. Yes. Really? Yes. Do you really think that I can't sense your attitude with every question that you ask? Dad, what about you? Do you think I don't understand you feel awkward talking to your daughter's fiancé who is as old as you are? Asha, stop it. Calm down. You're behaving like a child. Seriously, everything is fine. Fine, then. Well, you can go ahead and keep going, but I'm fed up with all of it. Thank you for dinner. Huh? Ah, great. That's what I like about your daughter. She's straightforward. She says what she means. <laughs> I'm not used to losing a game. I don't know. I don't think she's competing with you. All in all, she's beyond competition. Oh, she always gets what she wants, doesn't she? Anyways, she turns everything around so that it benefits her. I don't know, guys. As long as she's here, I can't sleep very well. <sighs> What's hey, up? Hey, guys. Do you have anything for me to drink? Preferably something hot? I'll make it. Give me just a second. Hmm. What's wrong? Has someone hurt our poor little lamb again? Listen to me. If you dare come after my husband again, I'll tear your hair out, despite our old friendship. Got that? Marina, you'd better go check where he is and who he's with right now. Because I'm right here. How dare you? And who is he with? Costa, well, how would I know? I'm just sick of her constant jealousy. Thank you. Mm. This is disgusting. <laughs> That's our specialty. To relieve stress, so to speak. Guinness, houses are so beautiful. Huh. Yeah. Guinness! <sighs> oh. What? Where have you been? What do you mean? What were you up to today? Oh, uh, the usual. Went to work and then came home. Why the interrogation? Nothing. Asya, I've always known that you're a really deep person and um, under your facade, of uh, humor and laughter and, and the rest, something else is hidden. Maybe that's what love is. Well, when you see somebody and, and you don't care what, what they think of themselves, what other people think of them, how they see them, and you don't care what your friends are gonna say. And you also don't care what your relatives would say, and I don't know, it just, well, love, they say, it's, it's kind of inexplicable, you know? Caustic. Thanks so much. Hold this. It's very good. Uh. What? What? What are you screaming? Uh, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Come on, I heard you say Zakar, and then I suddenly got scared that you weren't talking about me. Yes, I... Uh, so what did you want to say? Go on, say it, say it. I was saying that... that I love you. That's great. It's so good that you said it first. Let's go home. I promised your parents to always take care of you. That's your home now.
Kostya. 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 Kostya, hey. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, it's me, it's me. Shh. Sister, she... She broke my heart. I gave my heart away to her and she just... <laughs> she went and left. That's one thing she shouldn't have done. The misfortune she brought to me is one thing, but the fact that she broke the heart of my beloved younger brother, I'll never forgive her. I'll destroy her. I'll make her pay. I promise you that. Hello, I'm, I'm Asya. Will you be joining us for breakfast? Uh, I'm Boris, Mila's fiance. That's Mila, Zakhar's daughter. Yes, uh, Zakhar told me all about you. Boris, it's nice to meet you. D did she say Zakhar? Yes. What is it? What's wrong? Mila, apparently Zakhar didn't have time to tell you anything about me. Dad, what's going on? Dad, who is she? Is that your student? Get her out of here right now. This is shameful. Dad, answer me. Dad! First of all, you know I can't stand it when people show up at my house without a previous invitation. And second, this is my home. And I get to decide who can stay and who gets kicked out. Third, take a seat. <laughs> Sit. Asia is my fiance. And I want you to find some common ground between yourselves. By the way, did you come by yourself? I wanted you to meet, to meet each other before the wedding. With Boris? That's good. It's better that way. So I'm asking you, please, be extremely polite with a new member of our family. Would you go downstairs and help Asia with breakfast?
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Mr. Zakhar, good morning. I'm Boris. It's very nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Why, you look quite decent. <laughs> oh, what a great breakfast. I was just wondering how you and my daughter met each other. Oh, well, we met during the quest. I don't get it. Where? During Chernobyl quest. I don't know which word sounds spookier, quest or Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Quest, well, quest is a trendy pastime. Like, people must get out of the room solving riddles within an hour, for Okay, example. thanks, I got it. So you mean my daughter couldn't solve it, you felt sorry for her, and this grew into love? Dad, <laughs> he's just kidding. Well, Dad, what? Sweetie, you see, we have an understanding. Congratulations, Boris. Thank you. So yes, about the wedding, don't worry about anything, because I will pay for everything myself. Great. That's fine, right? But there's one but here. A very minor detail. What? Well, you still haven't asked me for permission to marry my daughter. I'm sorry, Mr. Zakhar. That's the reason I came here today. That's why I insisted on meeting you. Though Mila told me you don't like intruders. Mr. Zakhar. I want to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. I wish happiness for you, as well as for us. <laughs> That's great. Boris, open the car, please. I need the charger. Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you. The food was great. You bet. Nightmare, she hates me. I didn't like you at first either. What do you mean? Yeah, what I said. <laughs> Listen, Mila. Oh, hey, it's all fine. You just got it all wrong. Your dad is very cool and modern. He's a great guy. Have you gone crazy? My father? And this new girl, Boris? He's lost his mind. After the divorce, he didn't have anybody else but me. During that time, my dad and I had the perfect life together. Well, now you have me and he has Asya. In my view, that's fair. Have you seen him looking at her? She's a witch. Mila, your father is happy. That's the main thing. Enough, take me back, please. Right now? Yes, right now. What's the point of staying here? Oh. I never saw this book over at the university. Beautiful pictures. Where did you get it? It has nothing to do with geology. <laughs> Just let me take a look. You shouldn't. Did you take these pictures? Not me. Someone else. Oleg Tarkov? Is he your close friend? No. Zakhar, tell me, do you plan on inviting any of your friends to the wedding? Why should I? I have a daughter. I have you. She has Boris. Well, that's enough. What more do I need? Well, I used to think that the friendship between two guys was the most reliable kind of human relationship. Not everyone is able to be friends with everybody. Oh, youngsters, we've just been talking about you. We have a wonderful idea. Let's have the weddings on the same day. Get two for the price of one. A really cool idea, Dad. But you don't have enough time. Our wedding is on the 25th, less than a month away. The 25th? My parents got married on the 25th as well. Oh, really? That's nice. Uh, have you chosen the venue? Yes. Chosen the cake. Do you have your dress yet? Okay, Boris, let's get out of here. Let them talk. Makes me sick to hear that. Uh, okay, listen up, little girl. I don't know how you managed to catch my dad, but I'm sure it won't be for very long. So let's make an agreement. You don't spoil my wedding, you don't talk to me, and I'll pretend with my dad that everything is okay. Do you get that? 
Fine, it's a deal. Ugh, I do not need this right now. Too bad you're leaving. Why can't you stay for a while? Mr. Zakhar, I have some work to do today. Got it. Sweetie, won't you kiss your dad before you leave? What? Aren't you happy for me? Of course I am. A good girl, Dad. Yes. Goodbye. That's fine. Don't worry. I'll talk to her. She'll get over it. I put my trust in you. Drive carefully. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. I can't believe she called again. Can you believe this? It's outrageous. I asked her not to bother us anymore. My relationship with Genna is on the rocks already. Well, okay, is the plan clear? Clear. Are you sure we won't be punished for this? Hold on a second. Wasn't your male pride hurt, Kostya? Oh, okay, okay, I'll manage, all right. Don't worry about Go it. Go then. You only have 24 hours. Get working. <laughs> Where are you off to? See ya. I told him I'm not Where are they rushing that. to? Oh my god, hmm? you didn't said that? Yeah, that's What's my phone doing here? Well, I was cleaning the house and I saw you had left it on the terrace. I brought it in here. Huh. Oh. Sweetheart, where did you run off to? Huh? Why are you hiding? What? It was Mila, right? It's Mila. Did Mila hurt your feelings? She did. My dear, you're such a fool. You know how many times in life people are going to hurt you? <laughs> Zakhar. What? Zakhar, there's nothing funny about it. Uh, you don't know me, and I don't know you. Do you understand what we're getting ourselves into? It. Are you done? I need you. I know that for sure I need you. And I want you to become my wife. You want a real wedding? You can have one. I mean all these limousines, suits, and all of that. I just need you. Understand? Thank you for being honest. All right. And please, don't run off like that. Please don't. I'm not going to run after you. If you want, you can find some village boy. Let him run after you. Because I'm not going to do that. Yes, that's it. I promise I'll never do it again. None? <laughs> Tell me, are we going to choose a cake? A cake? Yes. Of course. You can have two. Yes. <laughs> Let's go home. It's cold outside. No, actually, I think I'm gonna go for a walk. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. The weather right. is so nice. I'll be waiting for you. Has something happened? Kostya, why are you so quiet? Kostya? What happened? Kostya? No, Kostya! No! Kostya, what's up? Kostya! 
Kiss me. Kusha, Kiss me, what Asya. Are you up to? Kiss me. It's not funny. Stop it. Kusha, are you okay? I'm about to be a married woman, Kostya. What are you doing? You're not married yet. Kostya, I love you as a friend. Calm down. I love you as I love Gena. As... Enough. Kostya. Oh, Kostya. <sighs> oh, Kostya. Kostya, let go. Kostya, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You idiot. Forgive me. Petya, why didn't you put your coat on again? Finally, I waited for you. What took you so long? We used to see each other even less. Will you have breakfast? No. Mom, listen, I need your help. I need your help choosing a dress. Yes, a wedding dress. But, but I need to understand which dress is good for someone around your age group. Look at this one. How do you like it? Oh, that is too revealing. What about this one? No, too transparent. <sighs> oh, look at that. It's a very classical option. Mom, I would look like a fool in that dress. <sighs> Do you want my advice or not? I like this one. Okay, let's look at other styles. Look. Look, this one's not bad. High necked and with sleeves. Have you seen the cut in the back? You'll have a cold low back. Go on. Oh, look, this one is funny. No, it won't do. <laughs> look, this one is beautiful. It looks like a princess dress, right? Mm -hmm. And with a train. Uh huh. <laughs> this one is good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry up. How long am I going to wait for you? Oh. Watch out. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <sighs> so what? Is it a big day today? <laughs> I don't know. If you don't like it, change it. No, it's okay. Indeed. <laughs> Listen to whatever you like. It's no problem. Something from your mother's wardrobe? No, I dressed in such a way that you could feel comfortable with me. You know, I have an idea. Let's just sit in silence. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You know, I don't care about what people think of me, of us. Then you know what? I think I have another idea. You should wear a coattails tuxedo for the ceremony, and I'll be wearing a vintage dress. Me? <laughs> With coattails? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. That's funny. I would look like a clown. You said you didn't care about other people's opinions. Mm, you're right. I don't care about what they think, but I do care what I think about myself. In any case, you can decide for yourself. You can order it at any bakery and bring it here. Fine, we'll talk it over. Thank you so much. It was really nice talking to you. I really hope you'll choose our restaurant. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Well, at least she didn't start flirting with you like the old lady in the office, right? Really? Are you jealous? Well, actually, that's not my biggest flaw. What is it? I adore desserts. Mm -hmm. Let me help you. 
desserts. Good. Oh, yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so good. Yummy, yummy. Oh. As far as I understand, we didn't manage to decide on a restaurant, did we? We did. You know what? We'll just have a party at your house. Really? Yes. I see that you don't like all of these posh venues. That's why we'll invite only the closest people and have a modest party. <sighs> Thank God. You know, I was getting a bit tense. If I hadn't proposed to you earlier, I would propose right now. That being said, well, I have something important to do. I can give you a ride wherever you want. No, thank you. I also have something to do. I'll go by myself. Sure? Yeah. Kiss me. Mm. And I'm going. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. Could you tell me if you have coattail tuxedos? Fine. Oh, that's my size. Great. I'm on my way now. I don't know. But I don't like this idea, really. Kostya, there's one thing I can't understand. Do you want to be with Asya or not? I do. In that case, we're doing the right thing. Oh, look. You look great together. Here. Listen, I assure you, she'll be grateful to you in the end. Of course. What does she need that old man for? And... You're young and handsome. Right. The best candidate for the role of the comforter. And then you'll become a fiancé in no time. And remember, Kostya, that in life, your happiness is in your own hands. All right, free your arm and back. Like that. Good girl. Hold it. All right. And give a small... Raise your chin. Okay. Breathe. Take a deep breath. Oh, great. You're wonderful. Good job. Uh... Yes? Excuse me. I called you a little earlier. I'm, uh... Asya. Yes, yes. I... Oleg. Hello. Nice to meet you. Come in here, just a second. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. It's okay. I'm shooting a collection for a new catalog. There's a lot of nice things. Uh, excuse me, dear, uh, have some tea, take a break, okay? I have to say, your call really surprised me, but in a pleasant way. Mm -hmm. Sakara and I, we haven't seen each other in years. Yes. And you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, I'm Zakar's fiance. Wow. In fact, I've come to invite you to our wedding. I think that it would be a really nice surprise gift for Zakar. Us, yeah. <laughs> Listen, you. That's so nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't I take your picture? Oh, no, thank you. Oh, stop it. It's not difficult for me. <laughs> All right, look over at me. Oh, 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 what a laugh. What a gorgeous <laughs> smile. Yeah, there you go. Hey, old man. Oh. A knight in shining armor. How are your wounds? Leave Asya alone. Oh, like that. And what if I don't? Then what? What do you need her for? To stroke your ego, right? You're her father's age. And Asya and I have loved each other since we were kids. Well, school days... must mean something. You're right. She's sensitive. She's romantic. You saved her and she thinks you're a hero. Yeah, and she had a crush, but it won't last long. Here. This is proof.
understand you, Zakar. I mean, what's the problem here? Well, I can't raise your salary, but I can give you a bonus if you like. I know you. I know that it's not about the money. Have you gotten sick of teaching or what? <sighs> Between you and me, I'm not going to work here anymore. You have my word as a friend. As a friend. Well, being your friend, I can't help but wonder who you've chosen over us. What's really going on here? No, I decided. Sakar. Well, that's a little closer to the truth. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you around here before, have I? Are you a student? No, I graduated a long time ago. Excuse me, can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'll leave you two alone. I'm sorry. Well, did you want to say something to me? All right, here's the thing. I don't have to explain anything. You know that you shouldn't have come here. Come on. So you must think it's okay to just leave and tell me nothing? Don't you understand? A boy I've been friends with since childhood attacks me in the forest deliberately. Somebody took those pictures and gave those pictures to you. Are you so stupid that you believe in everything they say? That's it. Here's the thing. Listen, I felt good with you. I felt good with you. I rushed into it. I was happy. I'm better off alone. I can only see what I can see and believe my own two eyes. Well, you'd better go and check your eyesight. Well, according to my estimates, in two months we'll be able to open a new salon. Yes, we'll have enough money to buy new equipment, and we'll have 10 or, in the worst case scenario, 20% for unforeseeable expenses. That's awesome, Asya. So does that mean I can start looking for locations now? Yes. Hello, I would like to get my nails done. Hello, have you made an appointment? No. Um, I'll check who's free now. It's no problem, I can do it. Um. That's okay, Masha. Otherwise, I'll soon forget how it's done. <laughs> Come in, please. Hello. Hello. Um, have you made an appointment? No, I haven't. Tell me, can a man get his nails done? They do. But, but you'll have to wait a long time. Oh, I will wait. Masha, check for the next available appointment. Masha, yes. don't. Don't check. I'll lie down here in this corner. And in the morning, in the morning, I'll be your first client. We close for the night. No problem. I'll be very quiet. Well, okay. Work. Everyone work. Get some rest. Sit down. That's it. Goodbye. <sighs> Zakhar, what do you need? We're having our wedding. Next week. As a sign of reconciliation. Forgive me. Forgive me. I'm an old fool. Will you marry me? You're not.
not old. But a fool. I'm not going to dispute that. A fool, yes. But I'm a fool as well. That's why I say... Yes. Try it on. I will. To be honest, I like it even more this way. Cozy, home-like. I wish you'd come to our wedding, Asya. Honey, hmm? tell me, who is this eighth chair for? That's a surprise. Hmm? My wedding gift to you. Okay. This is strange. There you go. Yeah. Would you like anything? No, thank you. Mom, I'll be back in a second. Where are you going? Another idea, of course. Okay, well. When the bride is away, I guess I'll propose a toast to the group. Hey, Dad. I'm sorry. I'll introduce you all. This is Oleg, Zakhar's old friend. It wasn't easy to find him, but how can you miss an important day like the wedding of your best friend, right? Uh, hello. Hello. Hello, Mila. Hello. <laughs> oh, you have become such a beautiful woman, just like your mom. My friends, let's seize the day. Let's cheat death. Perhaps tomorrow we should not drink again. Waiting for tomorrow is not a smart thing. Let's drink to love, to love my friends. Can you pass me my glass, please? Thank you. Congratulations. To love. And, and stop, 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 stop. Just one second, newlyweds. One moment. Is everything okay? Yes. It feels like you're not happy that he came back. I am. Yeah? Of course I would enjoy beating him up much more. But we're having a wedding. <laughs> and I'm really happy. Okay, I hope you like my gift. Right over here. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, gorgeous. That's great. Uh, yes! Hooray! Ooh! I'm so happy to see you again, get old off. friend. Get off of me. The car. I said get off of me. He's happy to see me. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over him just now. Everything's fine. Uh, he didn't tell you, did he? No, I don't know what happened between the two of you. Nothing happened between us. It's all nonsense. We were friends for about 20 years, went on expeditions together, traveled around the world. And then when Zakhar decided to get a divorce, I took Lurk aside. 
And he considered a complete betrayal, and one thing led to another. <sighs> it's all just ridiculous. Yes. We never discussed his previous marriage. I'm sorry, I didn't know it would be like that. I better go. He's a difficult person. Ugh. But you'll deal with that. Bye. Asya? You're gorgeous. I guess I was wrong. I should have asked your permission first. But was that worth spoiling the party? Asya, you know nothing. That man let me down. He betrayed me. Can I ask you what you consider being betrayed? The fact that a person voiced a point of view which differs from yours? I don't care about what he said. I don't give a damn. But a friend? Well, it's... It's just... I don't understand what friends are for. I understand what you're getting at, Zakhar. Yes, friends are for support. Here? For support? I am my own. Harshest critic. Me. I don't care about other people's opinions. But if you're my friend, you must. Do you understand? You must support me. No matter what choice I make. Listen, I... <sighs> under no circumstances do I wish to condemn you. No, I... I just want to give you advice. As your wife. You must learn to forgive people. What? No! Honey. Please, Zakhar. Just answer this question to yourself. Don't answer me. Answer it to yourself. When you saw Oleg today, did you, I don't know, did you feel something in your heart, in your soul? Did you feel anything at all? <sighs> surprises good I got it there won't be any more surprises I promise but please please let Oleg back into your life all right just just think about that all right? Honey. Thank you for everything. He may be at work. I don't know. Oh, hello. Hello. Here I am. <laughs> hello. hello. So you work here, obviously. Wow. You guys look really good. Rested and refreshed. And as you can see, uh, I haven't been resting. <gasps> but I have the pictures here. Let's take a look. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Your retouching has made me look... 25 years younger. Drop wish. it. You look great. Thank what you. are you talking about? Oh, like they're very beautiful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Well, I did my best. I'll put them all together in an album and you'll choose the ones you like and what goes mm -hmm. in the cover. 
Oh, I have a few new pictures from our honeymoon trip. Do you think we can make them into one album? Yeah, of course, I don't think that should be a problem at all. I'll just add them to what I have and that should work. Huh? Choose a theme that you really like and I'll make it work for you. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, in fact, that's not all I have for you. Well, I mean, that's not all I have for the both of you. Anyways, I've got a surprise. Another one? Well, this time a pleasant one. The final one, I promise. Well, I didn't give you anything for our wedding, right? So then, a trip on a hot air balloon. Hmm? Oleg approved. Yes. Oleg approved? Did you know about this? I did, I did, <laughs> I did. Are you sure you want to leave? Your parents live here. Yes, I'm sure. You know, it's not easy here. Besides, it's just for a few days. I'll stay in the city, you'll come back, and then you'll understand. move in with me. You, I mean, I don't know how you young people do it. But if we live in the city, we'll live at my place, in my apartment. Uh, but Boris and Mila live there. Hmm? I have a big apartment. There's room for everyone. I'm not arguing, but Don't I Don't you argue. You're my wife. And you live where your husband lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Maybe I'll make friends with Mila at last. Come in. Hello. Welcome to our home. Hello. Where are you going? Smile and kiss me. Come on now, Boris. Hi. Come in. Come in. You live here. Look. Take a look. Do you like it? Yes. Do you like it? <laughs> a very nice apartment. Live here? I hope I won't bother you. No, sweetie. We're so glad you're going to live here with us. Yes, I'm glad too. Take Mila this. will have somebody to talk to. I'm always at work. Well, in fact, I also work a lot, only come home to sleep. That's it. I'm going to Oleg's. I'll call you when I get there, if there's cell service available. So soon? Yes. Come back as soon as possible. I'm afraid <laughs> I'm missing you. It was you who gave me this present. That's it. <laughs> Calm down. I'm right here. Boris? Daughter, smile. Please don't hurt my wife. Live in peace and friendship. I'll go on my trip. And come back immediately. All right. Bye. I'll see you off, Dad. Come on. Come on. I'll show you how everything is here, and I'm really glad you'll live here. Don't Thank worry you. about Mila. She'll get used to it. been able to sit once all day long. Listen, I just checked the fridge in the morning. It was pretty empty. I bought some food and want to cook dinner. Shall I help you? No, you don't have to. Mila, can I count on you? No, don't count on me. Mila, aren't you tired of ignoring me? Huh? Well, I haven't done anything to you, and the fact that- Maybe you should stop calling him Zakhar. Mila, that's silly. We're married. That's a fact. You want to know what's silly? Marrying a man who's twice your age. Go make your dinner. <sighs> Mila, has the car called? No. Pay attention to her. That's some normal resistance on her side. 
Don't worry about it. Well, couldn't she treat me a little bit better at least? I mean, I haven't done anything to her. I wish the car would come back. I miss him so much. Yes, I understand. No, no. No, 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 Boris! What? Boris! Dad! What? What Dad, what? He, he's gone missing. He got what lost. No, he was went like somewhere. Something Hello? happened. Calm down. I don't know. What do you Can mean? You tell us what happened. No, no. What? No, no, no. Oh my god. No, I don't understand. I don't understand. Please do something. <laughs> Yes, the airbag broke. The weather was bad. Yes, the car was pushed out of the balloon. Here, sweetheart. Have they found him? Calm down, dear. You mustn't get upset. The radius is about to Mom, drink. I don't remember anything. The doctors yes, say it's help. severe stress. Volunteers, is he back? Is he back? Is he okay? Calm down. Drink this. I don't. I was want talking it. to Oleg. He's with the rescue team. Do you mean there's a chance? Mom. Enough. Tell me he's coming back. Just calm down. Tell me he's coming back. Uh, Mom, Oleg. Uh, God, I need to talk to Oleg. No, you I don't think it's a good idea. You shouldn't go anywhere. I feel okay. Please call Oleg. Honey, I gotta please, talk to him. Call just Oleg. Call. Okay, I need to okay, talk to okay, Oleg. Okay, okay, okay. What's happening? <sighs> Hello. How's he? No, no, no. Stop crying. Everything's okay. Listen, don't worry. We, we had a small accident. We fell out of uh, the air balloon. The thing is that uh, Sakar was opening the valve and, well, he fell down. No, no, he's alive. We're looking for him. We're looking for him. We've been in the forest for the whole day. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Have you found him? Unfortunately, no traces so far. Hey, guys. Uh, listen, we were flying in that direction. Just over that river when Sakar pulled the valve and... Uh, we need to find him, right? We'll broaden the search area. I don't think your friend could have gone very far after that fall. But if I were in your place, I'd be preparing his relatives. The man just got married and we need to find him. Let's go. Come we'll on. We'll do everything we can, but you have to understand the chances to find him alive are very small already. Do you think we should send some rescue dogs over there? <coughs> Guys, I'm in your place and I'm much more optimistic. Let's go! <coughs> Sakar! <coughs> The car! Let what go. are you doing? What Let are you go. doing? She can't stay here, Boris. This is her fault. It's because does, of her. Don't you understand? What does Asya have to do with this? What do you mean? Are you defending her or what? Did you sleep with her behind my back? Enough! I'm sick of you. You. This is her home as this well. Has never been her home. She has to leave! You're crazy! Boris, thank you so much. But I better go back to my parents. Wait. Here are the keys from the country house. That's your house as well.
Mm, your mom and I, we saved a little bit of money and found a good option, I think. Some downtime by the sea at a spa retreat. That's a special rehabilitation facility. I'm not going anywhere. I feel okay here. You're destroying your heart. Look at what you've done to yourself. You don't even talk to your friends. Mom, I do. I have enough socializing at work. I'll tell you one more time, I'm okay here. Thank you for your concern, but I'm not going anywhere. I can't just sit back and watch you. You're still a young woman. Believe me, you will be happy again. Why are you looking at me? Marcia. Mom is right. Dad. What if Mom had died? Hmm? Would you be done mourning right away and find a new wife? Well, what a comparison you're making. And what? Hmm? Do you think you can love and be faithful only to a living person? Well, why bury yourself alive? We better go. You know where to find us. Mom, Dad. Everything will be fine. I'll manage. My darling. Mm. We're just worried about you, that's all. <sighs> Took you long enough. I, I thought you would never come. What do you mean? How can I not come? Show me. So what have you been up to? I'm wrapped up in work. You're the first to see it. Oh, wow. Great. He's so happy here. So full of life. I want to see it all with my very own eyes one day. It's pointless. It's pointless. Oh, like, you don't understand. You really don't understand. <laughs> I've been waiting for him every day. Asya. Asya, it's okay. It's okay. There. There now. Don't, don't cry. <laughs> D don't cry. Everything's all right. Okay, we'll go back. We'll go and look at all this one more time. Yes. I want that very much. Settle. That's where it happened, right? Yes. Yes, it's here. Here's the falling tree. Here's where the balloon fell. Well, we search everywhere within the three-mile radius with the rescue team. I don't know. You have to expand the area of search. You have to search elsewhere. The body was never found. Well, see, uh, this forest is thick. There are plenty of animals here. Asya. Asya, listen, a month has already gone by. It's pointless. Don't you think if he was alive, he would have shown up by now? Did you look there? I don't know, maybe, but we checked Let's every... Let's go. Asya. Asya. Wait, where are you going? Asya, where are you going? This is a huge forest. We didn't fly in that direction. Asya. Asya, listen, nobody's likely to live here. Don't move. Wait, calm Wait, down. Wait, stop, stop. Calm down. Stop. What do you want? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There was an accident a month ago, you know. A hot air balloon fell down. 
Uh, my husband was there. Maybe you heard something about it? I saw nobody and I know nothing. Go away. It's just that they haven't been able to find him so far. Maybe you heard something or you I thought I told you to get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. That's okay. Oh. Go away. You're not allowed. How are you? You're breathing? That's a miracle. Well, you'll recover. You're a strong man. I'm sorry. I have to go now. I have a lot to do. There's a lot of people walking around. Searching. I have to hide for a while. Don't worry, I'll leave you food. We can share and share alike, like brothers. Onion, canned meats, hard beef chunks, the whole shooting match. That's all. Goodbye now. This looks great. It's nothing short of a masterpiece. Sveta, you're the best. I had the best teacher ever. Thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. So, Paulina, have you gotten used to your new position? Paulina, you're great. I'm not worried about you at all. I'm scared. We depend on Masha for a lot of things here. Well, it's just that we need Masha at the new salon. Oh, by the way, did you find the stylists? Yes. Paulina and I chose some applicants. I just now found samples of their work. Asya, here they are. Take a look. Okay, I'll take a look. Ladies, I'll be back. Asya! Have a nice day. Goodbye. Hello. Hello, Oleg. Is it time already? I'm sorry. I was so busy. I'm so sorry. We agreed. I made a reservation. I'm really sorry. I'm just off my rhythm. Well, I understand that today is a special day. A year has passed, but I don't want you to be alone. Oleg, don't be upset. But, uh... I've decided to go visit Mila today. I think we really need to talk. Don't be upset. No, no, that's, that's okay. I'm not upset. Mila, that's, that's right. Give her my regards. I will. See you. Bye. Mila, he was going to see her on his own. Actually, to tell you the truth, we should have called Asya right away and tell her that he was alive. Boris, she doesn't care. She forgot him long ago. 
She never called us. She never even visited us. Did I remind you why? Or I'd better call Zakar about it. You wouldn't dare. Mila, what are you talking about? He's your father, and he survived. He recovered. He made a decision to return to his regular life. He decided to go back to his beloved woman. Finally. Mm. Well, how'd it go? I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you know that she was dating Ulick? Good heavens. I warned you about this, Dad. All you women are the same. You, and your mother. Uh, what does this have to do with me? She warned me. From the very beginning, you were against our relationship. You were afraid that I would love her more than you. Dad, what are you talking about? You didn't want them to be together, did you? So enjoy. So it's my fault she started dating someone else? Mr. Zakar, I don't believe it. Asya loves you. She loves. Love means fidelity. Zakhar. Zakhar! Open the door! Open this door! Explain! Explain to me what all of this means! Open this door! Open this door right now! What have I done? Tell me what? that I had died in the forest. Asya! Wait! Boris, leave me alone, it's all over! Asya, you should talk to him. What are you talking about? You knew he was alive and said nothing to me. You knew he was alive and kept silent. Let me explain. I don't want to hear your explanation. He loves you. He loves you very much. Have him file for divorce. Wait. You... Tell me, are you dating someone? Boris, you don't know me very well. There is such a word as fidelity. Marina! Oh. oh, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I wonder how Gena lets you walk alone in such a state. I haven't seen him for ages. Uh, uh, does he know you're pregnant? He doesn't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask. Is it his baby? Hello. 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 It's his, Asya. I kicked him out. He left all his stuff and went away. I was sure he'd go to you right away. Then I found out I was pregnant. No, I haven't seen him. By the way, I haven't seen him since he asked me not to write to him anymore. That was me. 
What do you mean? I mean that I took his cell phone and I wrote a message to you. By the way, the photos with Kostya, that was me as well. So, I did it all. That's why everything is as it should be. And now, I'm paying for it all. Marina, just let it go. Everything's in the past, so... Also, it's partly my fault as well. You're his family, and I know I'm a friend from childhood. Marina. If you want, I can call Gena. No, thank you. Don't do that. No, I told him a lot of things. Don't do that. Come on, stop it. Oh. When there is love, the impossible is possible. What is it? What? Here it comes. Hold on. Breathe. Breathe. Uh, let's go to the car. Come on. Sit down. Carefully. That's it. Please, carefully. Okay. All right. You can lie down. I'm scared. That's it. Yes. Oh. Oh, that's it. Okay. Just hurry. Oh, hold on. Well, that's it. I'll go and deal with him. Dad, stop it. Oh, wait. That just... is not why I told you everything. Why should I stop? Calm down, both of you. Honey, that's not the point. The point is that he's alive. It's a miracle. Yes, Mom, I longed for it. Mm. I dreamed about it. Mm. But I can't understand the thing. Mm -hmm. I just can't understand what happened. But the fact still remains. He shut the door in my face. He gave up on me, so he doesn't need me. That's it. I... That's his decision, and I accept it. <laughs> <sighs> yes. What? <gasps> Marina has become a mother. <gasps> Hi, guys. How is she? Hello, Asya. Hey. Dad. She doesn't want to see anybody. I don't know why, but she asked us to call you. Why, why? Because I called Gena. Are you serious? But she decided uh, not to tell him, though. She hates him. Yeah. They have a child in common. She shouldn't hide that. She didn't tell him, but I told him. Where are you going? I just mopped those floors. Gena. What? Why are you quiet? Is it a boy or a girl? A boy. A boy. <laughs> oh. Do you have shoe covers? Oh, nope. All so right, I'm okay? Me. Great. All right then. I'll go. Go. <laughs> He's so happy. Mm -hmm. I'm glad for them. And I can see you're doing fine too. Yeah. We are. Asya, we heard about your misfortune. Oh. I'm okay. Oh, goodbye. Sweetheart, it's me. Please forgive me, sweetheart. I wasn't a very good father. And when you needed me, I was not there for you. I'm sorry. And it is absolutely my fault that, that I see left. Dad, I... 
we'll have to sort out many things, but... But I can tell you that this... All this taught me a very good lesson. It was a lesson for us all. We paid too high a price for this awareness. I'm leaving soon. So I apologize one more time. I'm sorry. I love you very much. Bye. Asya? Yes? A uh, courier messenger brought this for you. From who? What messenger? I don't know. I wasn't told anything. Wait, did they say anything? No. There is only one place on earth where I can listen to this old cassette. 